On the road again, on the road again. This time, we're going to Utrecht. Hey guys, and welcome back to Tours to Local. My name is Juliana, and this week I'm gonna be teaching you guys all about Utrecht in the Netherlands and all of the things to do in and around the city. I will also be going to Rotterdam this episode to meet up with one of my good friends, Maxime, who'll be showing me her city and all the fun things to do there. My trip to Utrecht began with being dropped off in the middle of nowhere. I was so amazed by all of the cows and beautiful scenery that I ended up actually booking myself a trip to the ER. No! Oh my god, I just found cows. This is how far away from civilization I am. Oh my god, I cannot believe I'm in the countryside of the Netherlands. Hi! And just as soon as I arrived, I have to leave to go to a medical clinic. Um, I was walking on the country road path here. As you can see, I have like makeup all over from bawling, but I uh, fell down and cut open my knee. So now I will be taking you guys along with me to the hospital here. I am in contact with my friend Maxime, who is here. She's Dutch and she's helping me figure out what to do. So shout out to her for helping me and shout out to my mom for answering my 4 a.m. phone call. Yeah, I always have the best luck when traveling and it's really fun to get to experience different uh, medical systems. Thank you, Diakonisunahuis, or whatever the name of this place is. You guys saved my life. Um, basically, yeah, if you guys are ever hurt while traveling abroad, first thing you should do is just cry. Let out all of that anxiety, because if you try to explain yourself to someone and you're like a mess, nobody's gonna understand what's happening. After that, basically, you just need to talk to someone, tell someone your problem, whether that's calling your mom. If you can't call your mom, just talk to like the hostel's front desk or something. They'll help you out. Anyway, so I took a taxi here, talked to the nurse. They were so, so nice. It cost a lot of money because I don't have travel insurance, which now I will look into because apparently I'm always getting hurt. Um, but they're really nice and they gave me a bunch of supplies they weren't even supposed to give me for free, but they did. Um, this just goes to show you guys that inconvenience is only adventure wrongly perceived. Once that was over, I felt right at home at the Steel K Hostel in Munich. I love staying here since it gave me an idea of what the Dutch countryside is like. This hostel is great if you're in search of some peace and serenity from the busy city lifestyle. No big deal, just a horse on my hostel's property or a mule or a donkey. I don't know the difference between them all. Just 20 minutes by bike from the city center and one easy bus ride away, I highly recommend this hostel. This hostel is surrounded by so many walking paths. It's a great destination for families, couples, and backpackers just wanting to get some peace. I made some friends here on one of my first nights in the hostel. So I'm here at the bar at my hostel. I just made some new friends. Say hi! Where are you guys from? Ohio State! then spent the next day adventuring around the city center. Get to see the city from one of Utrecht's lovely canals on a one hour tour. Sail past the two story canals and peer into the remodeled wharfs or simply stroll along the top story's fashionable boutiques and quirky restaurants. So I'm doing another canal tour of the city because the last one was just too much fun and I found that it was such a cool way to get to see the city. Since we don't have these in America, might as well do as many as I can and also since I'm like hobbling, it's a great way to look around. And anyway, one of the things I find very unique about Utrecht is the fact that their canals are two stories. So that means that you can walk on right next to the canal here. And then also there's another story up there where you can view the canal from up above. To me, there are two eateries you have to visit while you're in Utrecht. Freitwinkel has delectable french fries and are a big hit amongst local hipsters. And Venezia is a street side ice cream shop on top of one of the canal's old bridges. The best part about traveling solo is you can have ice cream before dinner and nobody's gonna stop you. So you guys know how much of a sucker I am for chocolate, so I'm headed to Cacao, which is a really good uh, chocolate shop here in Utrecht. <laughs> slice open your knee like me from being too excited about seeing cows? You can climb the Dom Towers over 400 steps to a beautiful view of the city below. Next up, 
Rotterdam. I took a quick train ride to the city to meet up with my Dutch exchange student friend at her university. Okay guys, I just arrived at Rotterdam and this is Maxime! Maxime took me to a really great view of the city after climbing up a set of temporary stairs adjacent to the train station. Next, we got around the city the Dutch way. On bike, of course. The Netherlands are notorious for their biking habits and endless bike paths. We bike to the Euromass, which is somewhat reminiscent of the Seattle Space Needle. The architecture of this city is unlike anything you're gonna see anywhere else in the Netherlands. After the bombings in World War II, Rotterdam has been a city of architectural rejuvenation. My favorite building was the Rotterdam Markthal. We are at the Markthal. Uh, it's this huge covered marketplace and it's so beautiful. So this is really impressive and now we're gonna eat some food. I'm so excited. A curved structure that houses both food stalls and apartment complexes, your eyes are constantly wandering at all there is to see. Here, I also completed one of the ultimate Netherlands bucket list challenges, eating raw herring. So I'm here at the fish market, I'm gonna try raw herring for the first time. I'm so nervous. <laughs> so raw herring is basically like a really salty fish. It's yes. Had with onions. It's gonna be served with onions or yes, no? Yes, onions. Okay. Oh, with onions. I'm really nervous. My parents yeah, look, hate this. That's yeah. It. Oh, there it is. <laughs> My parents hate this stuff. Everybody I know that's come here doesn't like it. So we'll see if I like it. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. <laughs> I'm just gonna pretend it's ham. It's just ham. It's just ham. <laughs> Wash down the nasty fish taste with something sweeter, like kufa cheese or stropafels, for example. Huge shout out for Maxime for taking out the time from her day to show me around the city. I had so much fun exploring with you. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe, comment, and share with your friends. Also, make sure you check out my travel blog in the description down below, as well as all my social media links. Be sure to give those a like. And don't forget to stay tuned next Monday for my next episode showing you guys, finally, the city of Amsterdam, which I have been dying to see. That's all for this week. Remember to keep the spirit of a tourist in the mind of a local, whether you're on the road or in your very own hometown. I'll see you guys later. Bye.